Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo Wii. For this tutorial, you're going to need an SD card from 2 to 32GB in capacity. You're also going to want a Wii Remote, which doesn't have Motion Plus built in. This isn't necessary for the initial setup, but some homebrew apps will just refuse to connect to Wii Remotes which have Motion Plus inside. So, if you have any controller connection problems, try a Wii Remote without Motion Plus built in. Apart from those two requirements, we're almost ready to get going. In this video, we're going to install the homebrew channel to our Wii menu, and in other videos which I'll link below once I've made them, we're going to install homebrew apps such as games, emulators and lots more. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest homebrew news and tutorials, make sure to join my Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and bookmark my website which is all linked below. But now let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, let's head over to the Wii settings menu. Once we're here, you're going to want to note down your firmware version which is on the top right hand corner of your screen. It should say version 4.3 and then have a letter at the end. Mine is E because my Wii was made in Europe. Make sure to note all of this down. If your Wii isn't on version 4.3, connect to the internet, then perform a system update. Now we're going to open internet settings. And just in case you're not already, I recommend connecting your Wii to the internet. It will help us install homebrew apps in the future. Still in internet settings, select console information. Now we're going to note down our console's MAC address, just like we did with the firmware version. Now let's go over to the PC. Open up the Letterbomb website, which is linked below. Then select your Wii's firmware version and region. And now we're going to enter our Wii's MAC address. Verify you're not a robot, then cut the... Uh, blue, uh, then cut the red wire. Yeah, cut the red wire. Save the zip folder to your desktop, then extract it. And now we're going to copy the private folder and the boot file to the root of the Wii SD card. Once you've done that, eject the SD card and then delete the remaining files from your PC. Now let's move over to the Wii and make sure you have the SD card inside. Now head over to the Wii menu and open the Wii message board. Now depending on the time set on your Wii, the letter bomb may be a couple of days in the future or a couple of days in the past. It might take a few seconds to find it. I found mine in yesterday, but yours could be different. But now let's open that letter. Now we have to wait for around 40 seconds, then when prompted, Press the 1 button. Once you're in the HackB installer, press A to continue. Then use the D-pad to select Install the Homebrew Channel and then press A. And finally, select Yes to continue. Now 
Now we're going to exit the Hack Me Installer. Once you're in the Homebrew channel, press the Home button and then select Exit to System Menu. And now we have the Homebrew channel on our Wii menu. And just like every other channel, you can move it around by using the A and B buttons, but this channel is very special. To open the Homebrew channel, just select it as normal, then hit start. But first, let's admire the nice animation. And as you can see, we're in. But it's looking a bit empty since there aren't any apps installed yet. But don't worry, I'll show you how to install homebrew apps like games, emulators, tools and lots more in future videos. I'll link them down below once I've made them. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I hope you enjoyed this slightly retro tutorial. The Wii is getting quite old at this point but I still felt like making a video on it. But anyway, I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.